Hello, this is Sanit here, and welcome to Model Kit Monday. Today is a special day, and for that reason, I have a special list. Today, we're not looking at any model kits that currently exist. How about we take a look at the top 10 mobile suits that deserve a model kit? Number 10, Megas XLR from the series Megas XLR. Hey, this was something that was created in a scrap pile, so Bandai could easily reuse parts for this. It's really simple. Heck, the head isn't even a head. They could just stick like a car from one of their candy toy lines. It's so easy, why haven't they done it yet? Number nine, Pat Labor from Mobile Armor Fleet Pat Labor. Uh, this is also another design that looks really cool. Uh, definitely could be a model kit, very popular series. Of all the mobile suits that have existed out there, this one is just sleek. It's got that police look to it and it's really kind of neat. Number eight, Liger Zero from Zoids. Now this is a mobile suit that is unique, it's sleek, and it has repaint potential forever. The fact Bandai hasn't made it into a Gunpla is insane. How many Liger Zero variants could we get? How many of those could be premium Bandai? They're just, they just need to print money at this point. It's so easy. Number seven, the VLF-1S Valkyrie from Macross. This thing, it's piloted, it turns into a plane, so it's got that cool like extra feature thing. Uh, it even has a third mode if you just kind of half transform it. it. Might be a little tricky for them to engineer, but they could do it. I mean, it's just, you know, the Valkyrie. It's so easy that, like, Hasbro could do it. Number six, UFO Robot Grendizer. I love Grendizer. Great mobile suit, really sleek design, and they've chosen to do a modern interpretation based on Mazinger Z Infinity or whatever. It's cool. It looks great, but hey, nothing beats the original. As we know, anything that's the first thing is always the best thing, right? Like, that's why Wing is still popular. Number five, the Batman Mech from Batman Mechs vs. Mutants. Seriously, with how much merchandise they do for Batman and DC at Bandai, why isn't there a model kit of Batman's mobile suit? Like, come on, it's so easy. It's Batman as a robot. Number three, Gawain from Code Geass, Lelouch of the Rebellion. How easy is this thing to make? Well, they've already done it like four times in Robot Spirits. Just make a kit already. It's a cool mobile suit. It's piloted by Johnny Young Bosch. It's so easy, anyone can do it. Number three, Mazen Kaiser Skull. The coolest of the Mazinger mobile suits and honestly something that really does just belong in everybody's collection. There has to be a kit of this. They've already done a couple Super Robot Chiyokens. It's insane there's not a solo Chiyokin like Bandai, make a high grade, make a real grade, master grade, re-100 even. Ooh, how about a full mechanics and a perfect grade? Just make it in everything. Just everything. Oh, and a converge figure. That'd be nice. Oh, SD's cross standard as well. Number two, the Big O from the Big O. What other mobile suit do you need in your life besides a giant steam-powered robot that can punch things really hard and possibly alter your entire universe? I don't, do I need to sell this anymore? I think that, that pretty much sums it up. Number one, the Ava Unit 01. Who actually wrote this list? Cause come to think of it, I don't think any of these are actually from Gundam.